Hello and welcome to Charlie's desk um, on location in uh, the bedroom office um, and the camera, the phone, is perched on the reader scanner stand of mine and on the board is the Matilda Ziegler magazine for the blind. Um, now this isn't like it's a it's a magazine that was always just published in braille it's not a magazine that was converted into braille it was a magazine for the blind uh, distributed in braille and for a while it was distributed in new york point in two systems um so it says on the front it gives this the story a little bit founded in 1907 by mrs william ziegler and endowed by her so that blind people may receive it free of charge published 10 times a year by the matilda ziegler publishing co for the blind ink um and this copy is uh it's volume 78 number six midsummer july august 1984 um and it gives the address as 20 west 17th street new york new york um area code 10011 um and there's a lot of cool things about the matilda ziegler magazine a it was just nice to have a magazine that's all in braille i'm opening it up now so holding up to the camera so you can see. And one of the special uh, things about the Matilda uh, Ziegler magazine is they were the first to produce an interpoint. An interpoint just means that there's braille on both sides of the page. And um, they offset the lines a little bit so that um, the fingers don't get confused by the dots on the other side. And the way that they did, did this is they jerry-rigged at first, they, they're, the way they did it first was they jerry-rigged a Hall stereotyper. Now, uh, in my first video, the, the Hall Braille Writer, um, or one of the first videos, um, that's the guy, Frank Haven Hall, um, at the Illinois School for the, the Blind. He invented the Hall Brailler and also the Hall stereotyper. And the Hall stereotyper was like a brailler with lots of force. Instead of paper, you would braille on zinc plates um, and then you could use those um, in a printing press to create um, you know this magazine for example published published materials and uh, people were really happy with the Matilda Ziegler magazine um, because they figured out um, interpointing first and so they were able to provide their their readers with double the amount of of material so people were happy about that and it switched to online a couple years ago in the 2000s and uh doesn't doesn't print anymore so um you know i guess that that trust ran out of money but um it's nice it's a brown paper that it's kind of like a little like laminated almost so it's it feels like it's maybe water resistant even um and it was printed by the cloverbrook printing house for the blind in cincinnati ohio and shipped free matter for the blind. So, so that's cool. And it's in, I'm not even gonna try and read it. It's in grade two. I really need to work on that. Anyway, it's just a little quick video. The Matilda Ziegler magazine for the blind. Cool little note on culture, blind culture in the US of A. Thanks for watching, bye.